Hi and welcome to this week's coffee tip. I'd like to show you how you can align a 3D texture and also make sure it fits within the exact measurements we have here. So let's go into 3D and I'll show you what I mean. At the moment I've got a pavement here, tiles, and as you can see it doesn't fit at all or align into this corner. Alright, same with the brick texture, okay? So I like to do this, we first select the pavement, we go here, I like 3D texture, set origin, and you do that origin exactly there. Okay, deselect, so you can see this is great, so this starts exactly in the corner. Now going over here, as we can see that obviously doesn't fit, and here that doesn't fit. So how can you align now that this exactly ends there and there. We go into our surface settings. I've got here a pavement and as you know usually you search and you add um, a texture map it comes in as a thousand by a thousand. Okay so what you do is that's why I got the dimension here. So I've got 9460 so you divide this roughly by a thousand so it's obviously closer to nine. So what you do is now you divide this by nine. Okay, get the calculator out for this and we put in nine for 60, divide by nine, which equals 1051. Don't worry about the, um, after the decimal there. So we go back in here and I like to change now this to 1051. Now I gotta make sure you don't wanna keep the proportion, okay? So we, this should stay at a thousand for now. All right, so, okay, let's go into 3D. And as you can see now, this is, I can zoom in with C, this is exactly, perfectly right. Now the same thing we're doing with this side, it's very simple, you've got 5350 divided by a thousand because remember it is a thousand uh, pixels which is roughly five. So let's get back to our calculator and we divide this 5350 whoops 5350 divided by five 1070 all right let's get back in here and here you put 1070 okay okay let's go back to our 3d and as you can see perfect see you can zoom in here and you can clearly see the graph there please stay with me for the brick texture because it's slightly different and we got two of the same walls all right so we select and we got the sign, align 3D texture, set origin, and I set it down here. Same with this side. And we set this down here. Right, so that, that starts perfectly there. And obviously, you gotta be very lucky if this is correct or this is correct here. Now as I have them aligned, what is different to the floor obviously is the texture is the length and the height so I have to measure the height which obviously I can do by just clicking on it I got 2700 so in this case I can use for the length still the 1051 we had before so let's just do that yeah so we had here 1051 that's the length okay so that's fits perfect that that really fits perfectly now but the height I have to recalculate so I've got a height of 2700 again divided by 1000 roughly so it's roughly 3 so you know we take 3 that gives us 900 so we go up here and this one down here is 900 there you go, see, it fits perfectly up here. Now, what, what we have to make sure is, because I use the same 
wall surface here. The height adjusts it right away, but the length obviously is wrong. So you have to really use a second wall surface. Where are we here? So I go to my wall external two, which I applied, as you can see, is the same texture. There you go. But now I can use what we used before. So again, the height will be the same. So that's 900. And for the length, we had 1070 before for the floor tiles. Let's have a look. There you go. Perfect. See, that fits now there. There, the height is all done. It's great. Looking good. All right. I hope you like this little tip and you will be back next time. Bye for now.